see a bunch of frost on people's uh, cars as they drive by. It's that weird time of year where it's a miserably cold ride in in the morning, but the afternoon warmth and sunlight is just, it's just too good to pass up now. And besides, Jeff, who helped me put all the drywall up in here and did the majority of the work, um, he's been biking every day this week and that just won't stand. It's still pretty cold out. Okay, so uh, entirely unrelated intro aside, today, today I'm going to talk about the pitfalls and the problems that occur with stock wheel sets. This is a friend of mine's wheel. He's been having a lot of problems with, with breaking spokes and more specifically breaking spokes at the nipples. That's to say the spoke ends up being fine, but the nipple needs to be replaced. You can probably tell the difference between a silver nipple here and, uh, and the stock black ones. Now this wheel doesn't exactly come off of an entry level bike, but it is a problem that occurs on almost every level of bike if you're not riding a hand-built wheel. Because on paper, this shouldn't happen with this wheel. It does have butted spokes, not wildly low spoke count, nice box section rim, nothing's gonna be wrong with the hub, yet there's still the problem of consistent broken spoke nipples. And if my suspicion is correct, based on my experience of working in bike shops and building wheels, it probably is, my guess is all of these spokes are probably about a millimeter or maybe a little bit more too short. The best way to kind of show this is to take another spoke, a little bit of grease on it, thread it into how much of these threads are actually showing in the nipple and show you the difference. See where all the grease is pooling up? That's how much thread is left in the nipple. Quite the difference. Basically what it means is there's no spoke inside the nipple where the head of the nipple is, so it's got no support. And with this wheel, there's some that are very deep like this one, and then there's some that are just kind of not. So, so there was something lost when it was initially built. Anyway, the best way to fix this problem is just to do a rebuild. Now you can learn a lot about the quality of a wheel and why it's having the problem it's having simply by measuring the spokes that were already in it. And with this wheel, it becomes pretty obvious what the problem was. On the non-drive side, I've got three drastically different spoke lengths. Uh, I got two 282s, a bunch of 284s, and a few 285s. That of course would explain the broken spokes at the nipple, especially with those 282s. Uh, there wasn't much in the way of problems drive side wise. Um, Two, two different spoke lengths in there, uh, 283, 284 millimeter differences. Determination for the two different spoke lengths that are gonna be required for this wheel, uh, I deem it 285s and 284 for the drive side. As long as the lengths of everything I source come in at the actual same length, this thing should build back up into a very strong and reliable wheel. Later. 23 degrees in here. Back from the shop, uh, actually Cyclesmith in town has a spoke roller. I forgot about that. So they were able to actually roll the spokes out for me, which is way better than just buying them out of the box because then it's guaranteed to be perfect length each time because the person doing it for you has to actually check. So 285, 284s, perfect.
this thing is pretty much done. There's just the tiniest little bit of truing that I'd like to do. And, uh, and the dish is just off by a little bit. So I'll actually be able to pull a little bit of tension out of the non-drive side. The best part about this rebuild, with the new spoke lengths, tensioned, trued, and dished, the spokes sit at just under the slot of the nipple, which means it's perfectly engaged. It's somewhat in the rim a little bit. Everything is reinforced. There shouldn't ever be any broken spoke issues with this wheel again. Well, unless, unless something really bad happens, like a stick goes through it, then maybe. But otherwise, should be absolutely perfect. Looking at this frame just kind of makes me want to build this bike even more. 